Hi, welcome back everybody. We are at Sura. Uh, I got a nice message from Matris, who is in Romania. And uh, he mentioned a nice little roach farming spot. So we are here at Sura at 6044. We're gonna be clipped 11. And uh, such an unusual, unusual spot. I thought, hey, let's just come try it and see what it's, see what it's like. It is raining. It's like 15, 17 is the time. And um, let me go ahead and show you what we have on here. So we've got 3.2 fluorocarbon liters. We are using roach feed. Uh, Caddis fly is the bait. The only difference was he mentioned inline rig. I'm not sure if he was even using um, ground bait. You want to gently close the door. Um, so we'll see how this works. I've got them spread out a little bit. I actually may not quite be reaching the clip there. So as we cast, we'll use a little more power. Well, let's see if we uh, if we get anything. If um, definitely getting a bite here. I used loop rig instead of inline. He had suggested inline, he or she, I assume it's a he, but um, the reason why I use loop rig is because I've got the points in the skill tree in loop rig. So it feels like a little bit of a waste to, to go with inline. I've always thought of inline and loop rig as fairly similar, kind of interchangeable. The descriptions are different, and I know that the actual, like, what is happening with the rig is different, but at least from a practical standpoint, I kind of use them. Whichever one I have skill points in is what I would typically use. But we'll see. We could try in line to see if that works even better. It's weird. We've had, there's the fish is actually on line three now. We had quite a few nibbles on line one. Now we're getting the fish. So what we're expecting to catch here are roach. I don't know if there's trophies in the water necessarily or if it's just a really nice bite rate of roach using size 10 hooks so that's pretty big for a roach so it, i would assume that we're trying to to hit some bigger ones not necessarily just getting bait fish here but we're actually trying to farm roach that's a nicer one It is kind of fun because they all feel pretty big on this 3.2 line. In fact, I would say if we do hit one that's over a kilo, we're going to have to be pretty cautious on pulling it in on this on this leader size. So this is an interesting spot because, you know, if you're high enough level to Sura, as far as silver efficiency, it's, you know, there's probably a lot of other spots that Um, you potentially could make more silver on. Roach don't typically sell for that much. However, if it's a really nice bite rate, I guess you could still do some damage. This would be a good opportunity, I would think, as well, to break out our match rod and uh, or a telescopic rod and catch a few of these roach on, on that to level up float fishing as well. In fact, I think we'll do that on, after we catch a fish on the third line next. Let's go ahead and switch it out. So I'm hearing from Wrangler, this is a pretty nice spot on Bear. We may check that out tonight. We'll see how much time I have, how much time work allows me to have for fishing, but um, we might check out the spot on Bear. And I also do want to get an update on the bream spotted old bird. I don't believe that roach will bite through the overnight hours. 
So we may have a limited time to to be on these, but we'll see. We'll see if they do die off. So we'll set this up the same way we set up the feeders. We'll go clip 11. Let's do, let's start off with a depth of 80 centimeters. And we'll adjust it from there if we need to. It looks like we're getting a bite on our float immediately. These are some nice sized roach. And you know, it might add up pretty decently for silver. With all the markers we're catching here. Are we getting a nibble out there? Not yet. I wonder if we might want to put it down at a meter. because we're definitely slowing down. We're always gonna be slowing down our catch rate when they're biting this fast on feeder rides by putting a float in there. The benefit is we're leveling up float fishing, which I need to do. I need to always be sort of working on that when I can. All right, let's change it. The other thing, of course, we don't have on the float is the uh, ground bait to help attract them as well. All right, let's go to a meter. See if we get any nibbles. Also see if it actually sets up properly or if it's set too deep. I think that's going to work. Whoa. A chunky one. Yeah. There we go. It's a nice roach. one was a sub marker so far so again thanks to uh, matrix for this this spot this is definitely fun to mix it up a little bit farm some roach for a little while and we're just gonna do it a little longer and then we'll just see kind of how the how the silver is adding up 
course, if you get lucky on a cafe order, that'll help a little bit. And that roach had made it almost to the shore. That's a big one. Hmm. I think it's like... My son is asking me what size a trophy roach is. I, I want to say it's around the kilo mark, but let's look and see. what size are our trophy are. Well, I don't think I can see what size my trophy roaches are because I think I have a blue tag trophy roach or tr blue tag roach. So it's going to be way big, but we'll see what size that one is. Let's see if this float goes under. So this is a waggler rig. Somebody had asked me a little a couple days ago where to get this float you have to look under the waggler floats for this particular style of, of uh, float using the roach ground bait I'm guessing they would still be biting without ground bait at all though roaches don't care maybe it increases our chance for a trophy or the size of them a little bit I don't know might make the bite rate be a little faster with the ground bait all right let's look and see what the blue tag was um, so blue tag was two kilos and that was caught here at Sura, but it was in the main river. So one point something kilos is probably the ro is the trophy size. An interesting thing to look at might be on the US server, what's the weekly telescopic common roach? Oh, dang. Oh, that's not weekly. I was about to say, people are killing it. All right, so the weeklies 1.19 and all at mosquito. It's interesting. Roaches are doing nice on mosquito. Imagine the shock of getting one of those weekly common roach at Mosquito if you're a low level player. Low bite rate got you down? Just come to the Sura Pond. So we are at 6044. I don't know if I showed the map yet, but we are here in the pond, pond area. I'm not sure if I've ever targeted roach before this, to be honest. Other than maybe targeting bait fish a few times and roach being one of the primary ones we'd catch but wow that's a nice one might crank this down just a little bit
24 fish in a very short amount of time. And if you don't need to level up float fishing or don't want to work on float fishing, your bite rate will be even higher. You can keep three feeders in. It's a smaller one. Oh, it's a rough. That's interesting. Okay, so the time, the time is changing. This will, we should see where the roaches pretty much die off here. At some point. Oh, golly. Okay, over a kilo, not quite trophy, but trophy's gonna be uh, exciting to try to get in. What would be kind of fun is if the, all right, we're getting one more nibble. I think I'll put the other feeder back in if uh, we can get one more, one more actual bite on this. Mat, mat rod, there we go. Yeah. It's like a pretty decent one. All right, so let's go Boonison. And let's see what happens here. We'll see if there's enough roughs in the water to continue to get fish or if it does just completely die off. That's a lot of roach in a short amount of time. We're still catching them so far. Somebody's got a weekly record buffalo. I wonder if that spot's still popping off at Octuba. I definitely am interested in trying that buffalo big headed spot again. Well, we are full on nighttime now. It's past 2200. And still getting the blinky lights. I don't think I have spent near as much time at Sura as a lot of players that have been around as long as I have have spent because I was away from the game for a while after Sura came out. And then when I was had, had come back, other lakes were out. And so I just never, I mean, I've hit the, the uh, Sturgeon Sturlet a few times. I've hit the Xander, Volga Xander a little bit, but just not that much time compared to a lot of folks. Yeah, we're hoping this line one's got a nice one on there. Yeah, pretty nice. It's really nice if it's a rough. Oh, it's a gibble. Okay. That was weird. Maybe that's the answer for the float instead of using caddisfly, using like worm or something that more species would besides just roach would go after. Try to increase that bite rate a little bit. But just for the float, I mean, caddisfly is working great targeting the roach. I'm a little surprised we're still getting 
such an active bite rate at this point. 2315. Maybe they'll go all the way till midnight. Or maybe that will be it. We'll see. I need to make some more mulled wine. That's good. Wrangler saying that that spotted bear is still doing really well. So what to try next? Maybe we should, uh, next time I have a chance to make a video, maybe we should try the bear spot just so we know while that one's fresh. And then we could try Oldberg and the big headed carpet tuba again, not necessarily in that order. Well, some nice spots to try. It's always good when there's options. See what you feel like fishing for. I wouldn't mind trying to catch some um, carp on the match rod, but I need to see if it has enough weight, if it can support carp fishing at bear. Well, it is after midnight and we still have roach on. All right, let's give them one more. Now that it is after midnight, let's see how much, how many, how long we have to wait for a bite now. It definitely feels like they maybe slowed down slightly, but I don't know. I don't think you catch common roach after a certain point at night though. This may prove me wrong, but I don't really think you do. Well, let's see what this is. Hooks are a little big for rough, so even if the rough are here, it's not an ideal size for them. But I bet those common roach would just, just keep popping off all day long. I mean, we didn't start till uh, 21 minutes ago, so whatever time that would be in game. Right, this seems like it's probably another roach.
Well, that's a fun surprise. White bream. Maybe uh, switch into white bream would be, holy cow, would be an option here at night. That's a roach though. So maybe the roach will bite through the, through the night. Um, they certainly have continued to bite. So let's go see in that short of amount of time, let's go see what we're looking at in terms of silver. That's the question, right? Is even with that fast a bite rate with roach, does it add up? I think it probably will a little more than I might think. All right, so wow, almost 100 silver that quickly. And let's see, where do they keep the stinking cafe at Sura? Again, I haven't spent enough time here. Um, so no roach orders. We do have a white bream order. So if we could get targeting those white bream at night, that could be fun. A uh, good way to make some higher silver intake at night and then keep going with the roach farm during the day. But this is a cool little spot. Uh, one more time, thank you to Matris for recommending it. And some of the easiest silver I've ever made. 97 silver just like that. All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'm sure I'll, if work allows, I'll try to get a couple more videos in tonight, uh, assuming there's time. But hope you all have a great day. I'll talk to you later.